Hi guys, it's Friday again. We have made it through another week, just barely. Um, happy to be here, happy to see all of you. Excited about today's live. I'm always excited about our lives though. <clears throat> so, what are we gonna be talking about today, everybody? Well, um, I have some things that I think are really going to be trending heavily this fall. And of course, one of those is the linen. Um, the linen is just so incredib incredibly cute and is really good for every season. But I think um, we're going to do some really cute Thanksgiving stuff with that. And then also the textured metal. Guys, I am so much in love with the textured metal. It is fantastic. And we're actually going to put a vector image on it instead of a photograph. So you can kind of see the difference between what they look like. And thank you, everybody. Yes, Barb, we are all okay after the storm. We actually got more damage here in the building for this last one than we did for Sally. And Sally was, um, I don't know, they were, they were both pretty, pretty crazy storms. But hopefully... <laughs> That's, um, that's all over now, although I did see that there is another storm in um, off the coast of Mexico or something, so 2020 will never end. Okay, what else? So guys, remember that we only have a few more days to use our coupon, and I forgot to put it up there, so let me... Let me put it up real quick. Okay, so CPN No Tricks, $25 off your order of $200 or more. You can use it all month, every single day, once a day. So don't forget, CPN No Tricks. Okay, oh, in addition to that, so we've added to this flash sale. So not only do we have all the products that I did last week, but we added the hot stamp foil. So we have 12 different rolls of hot stamp foil that are 10% off. And then today, well, yesterday, today, and tomorrow, we are offering $45 off of our laser dark low temp. That's our 11 by 17. So check it out. If you guys are white toner printers, go check out that flash sale because that is a deal right there for sure. Okay, I did. I survived the wind and the rain. No big deal. My hands hurt from chopping down trees, but you know, it's what, what happens. What happens when you live in the South? All right, what else is happening? So because we missed our live with Vic on Wednesday, we're going to reschedule that and we'll probably do that next Wednesday. So hopefully next Wednesday we'll be doing a live with Vic. Now, the Wednesday after that, which is, I don't know, I think it's November the 11th, we'll have our third episode of the T-Shirt Transfer Power Paper. I said it wrong. Our third episode of the T-Shirt Transfer Paper Power Half Hour. So be sure to tune into that. It is so funny. Doug's great. And we also always learn a bunch of stuff. Um, all right, well, Jeannie, you don't have to feel sorry for us in these storms. I actually, um, I spent a few summer, a few Septembers ago with some friends of mine in Sacramento, well, in the mountains outside of Sacramento while it was on fire, and I will take a hurricane to a fire any day. So, we don't have fires here, knock on wood. Um... Uh, no, uh, Eddie, we don't have low temp in the 12 and a half by 19. We all, I don't think, um, that's more of a Doug question, but I know only the 11 by 17 is on sale, but it's cheap. So, okay. What else guys? Oh, you know what else? I, in the season, season of giving, want to give some stuff away, but in order for me to give things away, I need you to do something. And that is share this video, let's get some people watching. So I know you're in some sublimation groups and I know you guys have multiple, um, a lot of you have multiple profiles. So share it, let's get some uh, viewership up. And if we do, I'm gonna give you these uh, two cute little patterns here. 
I thought um, we would do kind of some, oh, what am I doing? Some um, Halloween, or Halloween, some uh, Thanksgiving kind of themed fall stuff. And so please uh, share this video. Let's get some more people watching and you all may get these two patterns for free. So yes, much prefer Southern Storms, absolutely. All right, so what are we gonna do today, guys? Well, the first thing I wanted to do, like I said, shabby chic sublimation for fall. Hi from Montreal. It is uh, probably a lot colder there than it is here today, and I am cold. All right. Ooh, Jeannie asked a good question. She says, can you use the hot foil with regular, regular sublimation? And yes, ma'am, you can but you have to use the Subla Light, um, which is a, 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 like a sublimation to cotton, and you do the Subla Light in full black, and then you use the finishing foil. And that finishing foil kind of adds an adhesive layer over the Subla Light that the hot stamp foil sticks to. So, okay. I hope that um, answered your question. Jeannie, you can always call your rep and they will let you know. Yes, I am glad we made it through another storm as well. However, like I said, I think there's still one left in the tropics. Hey, babe, I love you. Okay. All right, first thing we're going to do, love these. Brand new. You've probably seen them before. These are our linen coasters, our sub linen coasters. So this is... Ooh, Jessica from South Louisiana. I hope you were not in from the New Orleans area because my friends in New Orleans, they got that storm way worse than we did. Um, all right, so this product here is JDW760. This is our Subla Linen Hugger, and we're going to put that first design on it, which is our repeating squares. And I just kind of made a little graphic that says give thanks. So the first thing we always want to do with our subtle linen is pre-press it. Let's change my camera angle real quick. So I've got my DK20 George Knight set at 400 degrees for one minute. And I'm going to protect the bottom platen with a piece of protective pa uh, butcher paper. We just get the butcher paper from Sam's Club. We get the cutter from Uline or you can also get it from Amazon. Okay and I'm going to lay my hugger on there, place another piece of protective paper and now I am going to press this for medium pressure for about 10 to 15 seconds just to pre-shrink it, get all the moisture out and flatten it out. Okay so 10 seconds is pretty good. All right. So, now I've got my artwork, I'm going to cut it in half. Oh, well good Jessica, I'm glad. All right, yes, yeah, Sari, so Sari said she heard the winds were terrible. They were really bad, and so I didn't, I wasn't in the office yesterday, I just got in the office today, and we kind of have this um, overhang and the overhang um, is really warped, like the wind came through and, and really, really messed some stuff up at the shop. But no interior damage, just exterior damage, no big deal. Okay, so I've got it. It is flattened out. I didn't lint roll it. I know. I'm sorry. You definitely should lint roll it first. Do as I say, not as I do. But we are going to put some Pro Spray on this. This is a spray adhesive. And just going to tack it down a little bit. I think these huggers are going to be super, super hot this year. Um, I saw them, I saw just regular like burlap style huggers when I was in Savannah a couple of years ago. And I said, yeah, we're going to get those for sublimation. Um, when using the Forever Subla Light, what is the maximum time you have before you press in the amount of seconds or minutes? I don't know. That's a, that's a good question, Brenda, because you definitely want to press it while it's still wet. 
So I don't, I don't know. Um, send me an email and I can um, ask uh, the, the amazing guys at Forever Paper. What size can? Does this one fit? This fits a 12 ounce can. Just like this disgusting Coke Zero right here. Sorry if you're a Coke Zero fan. Yeah. Okay. All right, so that was 60 seconds with a medium pressure. Oh, that looks good. I'm going to use my custom beautiful gloves that Miss Margie Manon sent to me. And I'll show you guys what it looks like. Get this out of the way. Isn't that cute? Really, really, really cute. So now we're going to do the back. Oh, thank you, David. Okay, so for the sublight, um, okay, the answer, uh, hold on a second, guys, I missed something. Um, oh, okay, Joy. Okay, I got you. So on the sublight, David just answered, and the manufacturer says 60 seconds. So you have one minute to apply the transfer. Okay. All right, so we've done our, that's on the sublight. So on the sublight, you have one minute from the time you print it to the time you put it on the shirt. Okay, second side, same thing, let it cool. It, you really should let it cool a little bit more, but diet do, more like doctor do to you. Okay. Gonna look so good. Yeah, Suna says they seem a little shorter than the regular koozies, and they are just a tiny bit shorter. Um, so, I, I think uh, if when we order some more, I think I do want to add just a little bit to it, but not too much, maybe like a half an inch. All right, guys. So let's see, what else? Um, I don't know, tis the season, it's coming up. What heat press am I using, Penny? This is the DK20S. I feel like I don't have, um, I feel like I don't have anything to talk about, guys. Sorry. Um, if David was here, he would, he would have something to say. Um, let's see. Don't forget about our neoprene hand sanitizer holders. Those are fun. Ooh, we should be getting in sample, sample packs of the Subla Light, Subla Light glitter and hot stamping foil. So it'll come in a whole pack and those should be here, um, really, really soon, uh, like within the next day or two. Thank you, Linda. Yes, these pillows behind me are also new. These are our new linen pillow shams. So cute. They come in green, which you can't see that one, blue, and then white. Okay. Give thanks. Pretty cute. So let us fill it with aspartame or whatever they put in this stuff just like that and it is a little short and there you do have seams but that's more just where the stitching is and it actually to me it really doesn't look that bad because it's linen and it's not like the regular you know neoprene coasters so all right we're just going to leave this one in here cute all right. Ah, okay. Next up. Okay. What is next? What is next? 
Uh, are there any other ways of printing on cotton? Um, yes, you can do the Subla Light, you can do the Easy Subly Vinyl, or you can do the Subla Light, no, I'm sorry, Subla Flex Vinyl. Um, and, and really, I mean, two of them are a vinyl, and then the Subla Light is, is obviously a transfer paper, so they do feel different. Um, other than that, I, I don't, we don't really, recommend the polycrylic spray just or the the you know the poly coating spray just because um, you don't get consistent results on it somebody asked me about a certain heat press uh, the Atkins heat presses I'm actually never heard of those so sorry can you sublimate on wood yes as long as it is coated for sublimation so for instance Actually, I was going to do a couple of wood pieces with my shabby chic theme because I feel like wood really goes well with this whole like linen and burlap and kind of the texture. I think it all works really well together. But yeah, we have some amazing, amazing um, wood products. Okay. All right, Suna asks a good question. Ooh, you guys are going going quick on the questions. Hold on a second, Facebook. I'm coming, I'm coming. Okay, for the Subla Light and the Easy Subly, which lasts best? The Subla Light, without a doubt. Can you explain the hot stamping foil and the Subla Light and Dark again? Okay, yes. So, the way it goes is you, you print the Subla Light, you print out a full black image with the Subla Light, you print it to your shirt. You put it to your shirt, you hot peel it. Then you take the forever finishing foil and you put that over your image and you set that and then you peel that off. And what that does is that adds an adhesive layer onto the sublolite. And then you're gonna take the hot stamp foil, place it over everything, press it and then peel it back. And then only the, you know, only where the sublolite and the forever, uh, finishing foil was is where your hot stamp foil is going to show. I really need to do a video on it guys, I know, but uh, Forever has a really great video out um, and it's on our channel, you can watch it, thank you. Oh, I mean, thank you Cheryl, thank you, I'm going to get it cut next weekend, whew. Um, I know TC, hopefully it'll be here soon uh, on the no cut glitter. Uh, I think I'm going to have to order the stand Oh my gosh, girl, this stand is so, I, I don't, I would, I would definitely suggest getting the stand if you can explain it. Um, so Melissa asks, is that used with the sawgrass? Yes, but you can also use the Subla Light with any printer. Uh, and Brittany asks, have y'all thought about doing the hardboard earring blanks? All the time. Yes, yes, yes we have. Um, what is the difference between the SPP007 multi-purpose sublimation paper and the TR850? Ah, oh, okay. So it's just a brand. So Jay asked, what's the difference between the SPP007 multi-paper, multi-purpose subpaper and the text print R sublimation transfer paper? Um, one of them is just uh, the multi-purpose is the Ditrans brand, which is our brand, and the text print is just the Beaver brand. So there's really not too much of a difference. I actually use SPP paper um, on just everything, really. So, um, Rachel, if you can't seem to get the Subalite to work for you and you are a customer of ours, please just call in to, or send an email to support at condi.com and they can work you through it. Um, for the Forever products, where do we get the profile for the Sawgrass printers? So, for Sawgrass printers with SPM, you're going to go down to the little icon in the right-hand corner. You're going to right-click on it. You're going to go to Options. You're going to go to Editions. And then you're going to type in New Edition, and you're going to type in Forever. And then once that happens, you will have the profile for the Subla Light. It's all in the video, guys. Um, whew, that was a lot. Okay. Does the hot stamping foil last better than the vinyl? Yes. So, okay. When we got the hot stamping foil, I was so incredibly impressed 
and I did not think it was going to work. I was like, there's no way that this is going to work. It's going to wash right out. This is, I mean, it looks great, but whatever. And what we do is we make shirts and we give them to the guys that work in the warehouse, my husband wanted, being one of them, and they wear them to work and they wash them and they wash them. Well, my, the way my husband washes things with hot water and hot dryer, and he has washed about, you know, probably he's washed a couple of his shirts about 50 times, and they are still holding up really, really well. Okay. Next. What are we going to do next, guys? Let's do a burlap wine bag. I am completely in love with these. These are so cute. So this is JDW775. So this is going to fit a bottle of wine. Um, Margie, what about the dark? Like the subtle dark? All right, so first thing we're gonna do, going to do is pre-press it. Yeah, Patricia, actually, if you want to, so um, we just uploaded a video on our YouTube about how to, uh, so I, actually, guys, if you're Sawgrass users, um, we have an, uh, Condi now has an SPM edition, so if you um, go to our YouTube channel and you look, it'll show you how to switch to the Condi SPM edition, and then that applies the exact same thing for forever. So instead of typing in Condi, you just type in forever, and it's the exact same thing. Okay, so are you asking about, I'm sorry, Margie, are you asking about the washability of the dark? Okay, we're gonna press this just like we pressed the last one. Um, hey, Jerry, girl, you're late. So first thing we're going to do, pre-press it. And this is my second pattern. So this is that stripes pattern. Let's zoom in a little bit so you guys can see what I'm doing. Oh, wait, you know what? Let's use our overhead cam. Okay, so... I love these. The great thing about these is even with this string in here, you can still sublimate fully. What is the size of your paper cutter? I don't know. Probably a 24 inch, maybe. All right. I don't like that angle. Oh, do you use the dark just like the light for hot stamping foil? So Margie, what I've noticed is, <laughs> what I've noticed is that any of the glitter because the glitter has a consistency to it, you can use it, but it doesn't, it's almost like it gives it kind of like a textured look because you're, you're actually applying it over glitter. Um, uh, okay, so can you print on Subla Glitter with Epson and the Sawgrass? You can print on the, e, the Subla Light and the Subla Light Glitter on every single printer. No worries. Okay. Pro spray. We're going to line it up and we're going to press it. So same thing. This goes 60 seconds, 400 degrees, medium pressure. Um, okay, so Maxine says, I have the Sawgrass and 1000. I can't find the blocks to change colors. I see the palette, but I don't see how to get the individual colors. Are you talking about using Creative Studio? What are you guys talking about right now? Um, what are you, what are you guys in Facebook talking about? I don't even know. Oh. Okay. What size paper am I using for the wine bag? This is a 11 by 17 SPP paper. Yes, absolutely, Patricia. If one of your printers go down, you goes down, you can totally use the other one. That's why I, I like. I really like this Forever stuff. It's um, it's really good. And they just keep coming out with more and more and more and more. 
I'm seeing a song. <laughs> oh, thank you for retracting that message, V. <laughs> Oh man. So I see one thing that I think I should have done a little different is made the font a little darker simply because the burlap is dark. But oh, I know. Aren't these gloves cute with my name on them? Thank you, Margie. So thankful for you. I mean, it's kind of cute. I think I maybe would have made like this line orange and the text a little darker just so you can read it a little better. But how cute is that? So we're going to do the other side. And I, so I am going to show you guys this. So one of the things that I, you guys know, so this is kind of like my little signature design. I don't know why. I, I just think it looks cute. Um, but what I'm going to do, what I really like to do is kind of line the lines up so they match on both the front and the back. So you see, you guys see that? Yep. I'm not OCD at all. I promise. So, boop, lines up. Okay. Let's go back to the press. We're going to use a new piece of protective paper because this one's got ink all over it. And we press 60 seconds. Um, yeah, yeah, you got to be careful. You know, it's uh, some, you know, this burlap material, it is a little bit darker than the regular linen. So you kind of want to account for that when you are designing, um, you know. I, but I, I think it's so cute. I got, um, I like crystals, like rocks, and I got some rocks and some Palo Santo, which is holy wood, in the little burlap bag that was almost exactly like that. So cute. So cute. Yes, Linda, definitely. Maybe add a contour around the text. Yeah. It's all about, you know, a lot of this is, especially being an artist with working with different types of media and different colors of media and different consistencies of media, you always have to play around a little bit. And I understand that sometimes that can be very expensive, but one of the great things about these bags in particular is that they are very cheap. Keep in mind when you look them up on the web, they do come in a 10 pack. So they're, they're priced about just about $2 a piece. I know. I noticed that earlier. I might have to replace this soon because um, I'm running out of transfer paper. Cute, cute, cute. Oh my gosh. This is just, it's just so, just so good. I love it. Like, I love how easy some, some of this stuff is, you know? So this is our, so this is our linen wine tote, um, which we just came out with and I, I really like it. Um, but you know, it, this is more of a, this is more of a, this is a more high value product. You're going to spend a little more for this one. Um, and then this one, you know, this is, a, this is about $2. And I mean, how cute is that? You know, just for like a little present or something, you know, thanks for inviting me to Thanksgiving. Get, let's get drunk. <laughs> um, just kidding. Um, Maxine, I'm not, you know, I don't really know a lot about, a lot about Creative Studio, unfortunately. Um, if you are a customer of ours, I would definitely call in to support. Uh, they use Creative Studio all the time and they can definitely give you, um, some help on that. I, I know, I, I, I always feel bad because I don't use Creative Studio because I am, just very proficient in Corel Draw, and do we have to do anything different with the papers you are using, Sprite? What 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 papers, Jerry? What are you talking about? I'm not using any papers right now. All I'm doing is sublimation. We're not doing any sub to cotton today. This is all just regular old sublimation stuff. 
Um, does the Forever Sublo Light use more ink than uh, just a regular? Like a re uh, than what, Brenda? Um, I, I don't. I, you know, I don't. I don't know. That's. I don't think so. I just think it's the way it lays it down. But I. I don't. I. Actually, I, I would almost say. So, I don't know. That's an interesting question. That's a very interesting question. Um, do we have to do anything different with the papers, with the forever papers? So yeah, Jerry. I mean, it's it's a, uh, you know, it's just it's it's not it's not like the easy subly. Um, it is more like just regular sublimation because you're just printing to a piece of paper and putting it onto a shirt or, you know, a piece of fabric. But it is a little bit different because of the way you have to set your settings up. Um, so. Uh, is it more, I wouldn't say it's more expensive than other processes, especially doing one-off shirts. Um, you know, uh, it's, the price is not that bad. Um, a lot of people prefer it to the vinyl feel. The one thing I will say is that with the subtle light papers, you cannot, um, you can't do photographs. You have to do like full color graphics, but with the subliflex, which is the vinyl, you can do photographs. It does put more ink down. Thank you, David. David says it does put more ink down, which I guess makes sense because when you turn off an ICC profile, it should actually put more ink down. Do the settings need to be changed? Yes, Jerry, they do. Um, so uh, if you're using SPM, you uh, right click on the icon, go to options, go to edition, go to enable new edition and type in forever. And then that will give you the option to choose which forever paper you're using. Next. My favorite thing for the holidays, linen coasters and placemats. So we're actually going to do a whole kind of like linen setting today. So this is JDW767. This is a four pack of subtle linen coasters. There's no tags on these, so they're double sided. So I'm actually not going to pre press this, but you, you can. Um, it's just smaller. Yeah, Jerry, that's what I'm talking about using Print Manager. Uh, print Manager is now SPM, so you just right click on it, go to options, go to additions, go to enable new edition, type in forever, and then uh, it'll restart SPM and your forever paper paper will be there. And then you can always switch between the forever edition to the sawgrass edition, sawgrass edition, and then also there is now a condi edition. Okay, a little bit of pro spray. Put it on there. Paper on the bottom. Paper on the top, same thing, 400 degrees, 60 seconds. Fancy new letters. Oh, I know, I know. Well, for so long we were calling it VPM and then we all had to start calling it SPM. And for the longest time I was going, what is SPM? But it's now Sawgrass Print Manager. And I, you know, I get it. And you're very welcome, Jerry. So yeah, I absolutely love these bags. These come in three different sizes. Um, I did an NBM show, or maybe, I think it was, I, I forget how many shows I do. Um, but uh, uh, one of the things I did was I used the small one of these as a mask holder, and it turned out really, really, really cute. Um, so I made like a... Um, like a Halloween or like a Santa Claus um, burlap bag and then a matching Santa Claus face mask. Super cute. Ah!
Margie, you, you got me these beautiful gloves and I don't even use them. Isn't that nice? Let's see how well do our colors match. Pretty good, too. Oh, that's warm. Okay, we'll let that cool off. We'll do the other side. Um, does the Condi edition have the papers you carry? I don't know. Um, uh, the item number for the bag I use for the masks is probably JDW777. Um, do you have to wash afterwards to get the sticky pro spray off? Uh, yes. And actually what I use is, um, I well, no, I use uh, just alcohol and I mean, it is, you know, it is what it is. I, uh, I used to work in a screen printing environment, and so this is a little bit of uh, pro spray. Is, it ain't that bad. All right, so we've let it cool. Let's do the other side. Tiny, tiny spray. And you guys wonder why I never get my nails done, and it is because of pro spray in the heat press. Um, let me see if I have the other size of the bags. I may have some. Do I have any linen bags around here? Oh, I do. I do. I do. I do. So this is the one that I did for the mask holder. Um, this is the JDW777, and then the JDW776 is kind of like in between sizes. So, and I don't have one of those, unfortunately. Nope. Sorry. Is the linen co coaster offered in a round shape as well? Ooh, no, but that's a very, very interesting um, that's an interesting concept. Uh, Leaf asked, do you lose color on the first side when you sublimate the second side? Well, let's, um, let's compare a little bit. So basically, as long as you let it cool sufficiently, um, you should not lose any, you should not lose any, um, any color. And I'll show you that here. So you can actually see here, I don't know if you can see it very well. So this was my first print, and this was my second print, and you can see just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of sublimation degassed. Okay, so, but check this out though. So, I mean, this is one side and that's the other side, and I don't see any difference in color at all there. Same here. It's just really about letting it cool. And then, I mean, that matches really well. I mean, it's the same. Love it. Beautiful, beautiful. So we've got our coaster, our hugger, our wine. I think we're almost ready for sublimation or for uh, Thanksgiving. Is there a big difference in using pro spray or just taping? Um, you know, I. Uh, I mean, there's not a, okay, if you are going to do a two-sided item, you have to use Pro Spray because, so let's say I'm doing a metal ornament, right, and, and I'm making my sublimation sandwich and I'm putting my metal ornament in the middle of it. If I tape it, sublimate it, let it cool, and then try to tape the other side, the tape is actually going to leave fade marks. So that's, a, that's a, a time that you definitely use Pro Spray. Um, on something like this, I could actually use tape, but what's going to happen is when I pull the tape up, I'm going to kind of mess the fibers up a little bit. Now, I know some people that do not use Pro Spray at all, and then I know some people that don't use tape at all. So really, whatever works best for you. All right. So this was printed on 13 by 19 paper on my SG-1000 with my Sublegit UHD inks. A little bit of pro spray. 
So this placemat is JDW768. So these come in a four pack and they're double sided with no tag. Ah, what did I for? Okay, these you gotta, gotta pre press. And the reason you have to pre press is because these will shrink and you don't want any kind of ghosting or anything like that. So definitely gonna pre press these. 15 seconds. And let's talk about something else that I didn't do. Um, is because these are two sided, you could do like a Thanksgiving design on one side, flip it over and do a Christmas design on the other side. So you could actually have, you know, a, two different holiday placemats, which is kind of cool. Okay, that's pretty hot now. Just let it cool for a second. Apply a little bit more Pro Spray. It's a little hot, so but it'll be it'll be all right for demonstration purposes only. Also, guys, all this linen is hand sewn, so make sure you measure it before you go ahead and, and create a big old template or you know create a put a bunch of ink down and then the template is the wrong size okay well I've got quite a few people watching which you guys know I love and I appreciate so we'll talk about that here in just a second we got about 15 minutes left see what I can accomplish in 15 minutes. I think I'm just going to do the one side of the linen coaster, uh, I mean the linen placemat, and so that gives me time to do this um, textured metal. Guys, this textured metal, I am so in love, so in love. It is fantabulous. How do you place the placemat on the paper evenly? Um... I just kind of, I don't know, let's, uh, I tell you what, we will do the second side and we'll do it over the, um, the top. Question about the metal tumblers. If you have already cooked a design on them in an oven, can you put them in a second time if you left a name off? So what's going to happen when you do that, when you put the tumbler in the oven for the second time, is it's going to start to desublimate. So there's only a few things that take sublimation out. One of them is UV light, and the other is uh, heat. So if you put your coaster or your mug back into the heat, then it is going to start to lighten up. So if you've ever overcooked a mug or overcooked um, a tumbler, you'll notice that it's not bright, it's light, and that's actually because the gas starts to go away. So. If you have to add a name to a tumbler, I would probably suggest doing it in vinyl or something. Okay, so the question was asked, how do I line it up? All right, so let me find my design. I threw it. Ugh. Okay, so I've got my design here, right there. I'm going to go ahead and use some Pro Spray real quick. Okay. And now I'm basically just going to line it up. And I'm actually going to use this line since I've already done the first side. I'm just going to kind of use it as a guide mark. And the great thing about the, um, the great thing about the pro spray is that it is, you know, you can reposition. It's not like fully stuck. So, and then also I gave myself a pretty big bleed area too. All right, so let's do the second side. Boy, those colors look good. Okay, so I got a piece of checked paper down. Boop. And we press 60 seconds for 400 degrees. Where are your designs sold? Our designs are sold on our Etsy shop. Go to etsy.com slash shop slash Condi Systems Inc. What sublimation printer are you making your print for metal? Everything I'm printing today is coming off of my SG-1000 printer. 
is the metal available at the California warehouse? I think it might be, Jeff. Call, um, who's your, call your rep. I should know who your rep is, and I don't. And that, that's upsetting. Sorry. Um, what size is your heat press? This is a George Knight DK20S, so it's 16 inches by 20 inches. Oh, that's a, that's a really good um, idea. So V says, um, in order to make all the colors match, that you could invert some of the colors, and so it would like all still match, but even if the colors are off just a little bit, it wouldn't matter. That's a great idea. So Barbara says sometimes pro, I think you mean pro spray. <laughs> um, yes, Leaf, there is. Uh, <laughs> So Barbara asks, says, sometimes the pro spray leaves dots. Yes, it does. And that's because this is spray adhesive. And sometimes that adhesive builds up in the tip. And so when that happens, you get like little bubbles that'll kind of um, hit your paper and it does, it leaves a dot. So what you do is you take your tip out, soak it overnight in acetone, which is fingernail polish remover. And then in the morning, you rinse it out with water, let it dry for about an hour, and then you have a clean tip. I have a whole video on that, and then also never throw your tips away. And Leaf asked, is there a question you don't know the answer to? And I said yes, which is funny because I just answered your question. So there are some things I don't know, and then for that I defer to Mr. Gross. Okay. Whew. I feel like I have answered a lot of questions today. All right, guys, so let's check these all out. So I've got my super cute, super cute, super cute. I love to bundle things because when you bundle things, you make more profit. This is a cute set right here. Okay, last and also least today. I don't know what that saying means. Last but not least. Well, last but least for today. I've got my textured metal. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that was funny, TC. Um, okay, so this is our 8x12 textured panel. This is U4879. And I don't know if you guys can see the texture on it. But it is amazing. It's amazing. It's so cool. And it's so cool for vector graphics. Oh my gosh. I am living for this. Okay. Yeah, you're right, Jeannie. Jeannie says, well, you said you needed more to talk about. And I guess I guess I set myself up for that, didn't I? All right, so let's go back overhead here. All right, so what I've got here is I've got my metal and I've got my bleed area. So what I'm gonna do as I'm going to place a piece of tape here, and I'm going to place a piece of tape here. Suna said, asks, is it, it, is it similar texture to the hardborn ornaments? Yes, ma'am, it is exactly the same, except now it is on metal. Okay, so we are going to do this. 400 degree, and, and keep in mind, I could have done a design, flipped it over and sublimated the back, but I didn't do it. All right, so we're going to do this image face down, product face up, 400 degrees for one minute, 15 seconds with medium heavy pressure. <laughs> Eddie Greer, you know I can't say that. Um, but if you are a fan of Family Guy, there is an episode of Family Guy where the hot tub goes crazy and the hot tub is played by CeeLo Green and he does a whole song about that. And if you don't know about it, look it up because it is hilarious. And, and you, you're making, you're, I shouldn't, I'm just gonna stop. We're just gonna stop. Eddie, you're gonna get me in trouble get me in trouble okay thank you Diana I appreciate that um, I was pretty stressed out this afternoon because uh, 
As you guys know, we weren't here yesterday, so I really wanted to make sure I gave you a good live um, because it is the end of the month. All right, we got about 20 seconds. I'm excited to see this. Ah, <laughs> good. I'm glad you saw that, Eddie. Okay. <laughs> good. You know exactly what I'm talking about, don't you? <laughs> Just a toe. Dip the toe. Don't nobody got to know. A couple seconds left. All right. So now what I want to show you guys, let's go back to my overhead camera because I feel like I always talk about this, but I don't really show it very well. So the way that I take this design, okay, I am able to look and see, did I get a good transfer? Do I see any ink in the middle? Let's look at the other side. It looks pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and take my transfer off. That way I can look at this and I can see, look, all that ink came off really cleanly. If it didn't, I would have just popped it back in the hot heat press for another probably 10 to 15 seconds. Remember, guys, if you have dark areas on your transfer and light areas on your uh, substrate in the center, it is because you have not pressed you for long enough because, remember, it heats from the outside in. If you have light spots on the outside of your uh, of your product and dark spaces on the outside of your template, that means that you're not using enough pressure and it's not going down into the edges enough. Sandra asked, how do you not get ghosting if you put it back? And that is because, it, of the, because it's taped. And it's taped well enough on both sides that it's not going to move. All right, guys, check this out. Oh, man. So... This matte finish is, it's almost like printing on canvas. And I don't know if you guys have seen some of the pieces that we have done that are on the website, but they are so cool. So cool. Um, can you make this metal with the SG400? Actually, yes, because this is an eight by 12 and the SG400 will run eight and a half by 14. So you could totally do this on the SG400. Well, all right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, friends and family, foes, all of you. Um, now, for the placemat, you are going to need the SG-1000, definitely. All right, guys, girls, boys, every person out there, it is now time for you to send me an email so you can get your beautiful artwork. So send me an email, S w o o d at condi dot com and i will send you these two patterns all you got to do is send me an email s w o o d at condi dot com item on on the metal item number on the metal u4879 um somebody asks can it be hung outside so we do not recommend that you hang the metal outside but we used to say that metal would last six months. And we currently have some metal, like the Mako metal and the Dinosub metal, where that is true. You can put a photograph outside, and after about six months, you'll notice a little bit of, of, of degradation of the image. But with the Sawgrass UHD inks and this new Chromalux finish, uh, especially the EXT finish, you could probably put it outside for at least for regular metal, probably a year or longer, but the EXT metal is, la is slated to last three to five years with outdoor life. So, all right, guys, who are we going to talk to now? I mean, we can just leave the stream open. I can leave and you guys can talk to yourselves. All right, wait a second. I'm not done yet, though. So don't forget, email me for the designs. So every single week, I ask you guys to tell me about the products that you're doing. Leave me a review on a product. Um, and, and I pick a winner and I randomly, and I give them $25 in Condi credit. So this re week, my review winner is Terry Beck and Terry reviewed the sock 46 socks are a great holiday bestseller and these print beautifully. Thank you very much, Terry. I contacted who is your rep Casey. He'll be sending you an email on how to collect your $25 in Condi cash. 
in addition to leaving me a review, I ask you to show me what you're doing by submitting your artwork, your products, and our client gallery. So we have a big quarterly gallery contest that is going on right now, which is showing us your hottest sub selling sublimation product. First place gets $400 in Condi Cash. Second place gets $200 in Condi Cash. Third place gets $100 in Condi Cash. And honorable mention will also get $100 in Condi Cash. But in addition to that, we randomly give away $25 every single week just for you participating in the gallery contest. And this week, our winner is... Diane Lambdit of Snippets of Imagination. This is U5522. She said, use this, this, coil, this coil bracelet as a reminder that the water is on. Simply hang it on the water spigot, and when you turn on the water, put it on your wrist. Then when you are finished, turn off the water and hang the reminder bracelet back on the spigot. The reminder bracelet can also be used as a reminder for the lights, coffee pot, hair straightener, etc. I love it. My OCD absolutely loves it. So thank you, Dina. You will be receiving an email on how to receive your Condi credit. So guys, use the coupon. I forgot which side the coupon's on. Use the coupon. Um, Jesse, do me a favor and email, just email me again. Mention it in, in that you didn't get last week's. Um, some, some, something weird happened last week, and I got a lot of, like, a lot of, um, uh, a lot of returned emails. So just if you didn't get last week's and you emailed me, email me again. You guys know how I am. Um, so, all right, guys, that's it for today. Don't forget, CPN No Tricks. You've got two more days to use it. Everybody have a, ho have a happy Halloween, and I will see you next week. Bye.